What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. In today's short tutorial and After Effects, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a nice starry twinkling loop inside Adobe After Effects. So if you need something for a solar system or you just want some nice moving particle stars in the background, I'm gonna show you guys how to create that very easily and very quickly inside After Effects. So let's dive into it, but first feel free to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. With that, let's dive into it. All right, so to get started, we'll go to Composition, New Composition, and we'll just name this Star Loop. Feel free to adjust as needed, but I'm gonna leave it with these settings for now. And click OK. Then first we're gonna to go to Layer, New Solid. And we'll name this stars. You can use any color. I'm gonna change it to black for now since it kind of makes sense with the stars. Then click OK. And then to add the effect, what we're gonna do is go to Effects and Presets and type in Fractal Noise. And this will be the effect that we use to generate the stars. Drag and drop it onto the solid. And here are the settings to adjust to make to make it. Uh, a star type of texture. So under fractal type, we're gonna change it to turbulent basic. We're gonna, we're gonna leave the noise type alone and we're gonna change the contrast to 400. And we're gonna change the brightness down to negative 300. And if we untwirl transform, we're gonna change the scale to five. And as you can see already, we get a really nice um, small little stars in the background. And if you want, you can change the brightness accordingly. You can decrease it more to kind of get rid of stars or increase the field, increase it to get more stars. So feel free to, to adjust it as needed for your personal project or your personal preference. And you know, if you want the stars larger, then you can take the scale and boost it up a little bit to maybe seven. So adjust the scale and the brightness accordingly to get it to the type of stars you're looking for. So under evolution, under evolution options, to make this a looping, uh, twinkling background, you'll wanna check the box next to cycle evolution. And what this will do is it'll make sure that the animation cycles when it loops. And then what we're gonna do is keyframe the evolution. So click on the stopwatch and then go to the end of your composition. And then the front number of how many rotations or revolutions there are, change it to a number that you wish. I'm gonna do five. Uh, feel free to adjust that as needed depending on the speed of the twinkling that you want your background animation to be. You know, more uh, higher the number, the more fast it goes and the lower the number, the slower the twinkling. So if we play this back now, we can see we get a nice twinkle. And the last thing I'll do here is we'll add some blur just to blur it out a little bit because you can see if we zoom in here, it is a little harsh. So if we go back out and a good blur to use is Gaussian blur, so type in blur, then under blur and sharpen, drag out the Gaussian blur. here and change the blurriness, not too much, maybe to about three, and then check repeat edge pixels. That way it kind of blurs it out a little bit. Since stars are further away, it kind of gives it a more natural look. So there you have it guys, that is it for this tutorial. Pretty short here today. I hope this has helped you if you're looking to make a starry animation inside Adobe After Effects. If you want to see more After Effects tutorials, I put together a playlist for you guys. Feel free to go check it out. I put together similar tutorials such as this, creating cool things inside After Effects. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.